Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Motivated Monday. Wanted to jump on today and just chat a little bit. It's um, We are, I think, four days away from Christmas, but just wanted to chat a little bit. It's a lot going on. I have just endured a whole lot of different moods and attitudes and different things that have been going on for the last couple of weeks and just wanted to jump on today because it's motivated Monday for me and nothing gets me more motivated than people who do not have customer service and so that's how my day started so just wanted to jump on and kind of see how you're doing where you're at um what's going on in the uh, wherever you are, wherever you live, how's the weather? How are you feeling this close to Christmas with coronavirus being here since March? How are you feeling about um, if you've had COVID or a loved one have, have, have had COVID and now they are having a antidote or um, they're having, a, um, what do you call it, a prescription you can go and get not a prescription you know what i mean they have a virus something for the virus to to cure it or i'm not sure if it cures it i don't know it's just like any other uh cold or virus or flu or some you know one of those um different drugs that they've come up with actually i think they have a second one that's come out as well but how are you feeling during during those times are you grumpy or grouchy because it's the holidays and you can't be holiday you miss your christmas parties your thanksgiving parties your thanksgiving dinners um, all the things that you typically do for the holidays are you missing that for all of those who have had birthdays and weddings um, how are you feeling about having to minimize it or downsize it how are you feeling even those people who have lost loved ones and had to basically um, cut their funerals back to a smaller portion size or have to wear masks or whatever it is. But how are you feeling? It's Motivated Monday. Definitely want you to be motivated. It's about 3.37 in the afternoon. So we definitely should be up and moving around unless we work overnight. But how motivated are you knowing that you've made it this far into the new year? You've made it um, 2020, 2021 is right around the corner. Next week, we will embark on a new year. And so how are you feeling about where you have been in 2020, where you are now financially, relationship-wise, mentally, physically, where are you at on this Motivated Monday? Are you motivated to be the best you that you can be right now today to move forward to greater to all that you do um, are you motivated to um, if you're a business owner like myself who is a multitasker who is always busy most of the time are you motivated to keep going to keep pushing do you have those people in your life that um, push you to the next level i think myself I'm, i motivate myself a lot but it gives me that um, motivation to the third hundredth power or something like that times 300 when our supporters and our donors surprise us with um, donations or they support us by sharing our social media or they say, hey, let's partner. We want to partner with you for Thanksgiving and Christmas so that you'll be able to be a blessing or continued blessing to the families that we serve in childhood cancer land over the thanksgiving and christmas holiday seasons we have received messages from four new families some of them are they're all different ages the youngest is one the oldest is 12 but people have reached out to us and not just the fact that we have four new families but we have one that this is not their first go round with cancer with their child this is their second go around with a second child so they've been through this before and now they're doing it again with child two and so we just want to you know how are you feeling for 
those of us who have lost children to cancer at a young age, at an older age, or whatever it is, we service children ages 0 to 19. So for those of us who have lost kids, kids, not adult children, but, you know, our baby kids, we um, sometimes you just want to know how, how people are doing. And I know in our connect group, that we have for parents and caregivers that have lost a child to cancer. Those are things that we talk about. How are you feeling? Where are you at right now? Especially like for our family, Christmas was the absolute favorite holiday for Caleb outside of sh um, sharing my birthday. And so for me, for us, for me, I'm a more, I'm a, I'm a more so say me. I love to excuse me my um, cameras keep alerting me that something's triggering it but for me I love the festivities of the holidays I love Christmas music I can listen to Christmas music all year long I love the decorations and all that comes with it but honestly for the last, last seven years we have not did much of anything as far as decorating I'm going to say nothing as far as decorating um, Caleb and um, one of our dear, one of my dear beloved folks. Um, she used to come over here and they would put the tree up and do decorations and hang the stockings and do all that nice, wonderful stuff. And that's just, I'm definitely not into doing all of that myself, but I love to see him in action doing it. And I love to see them when they just were climbing around and just um, making a tree just beautiful and decorating the, the inside and the outside of the house, whatever he wanted. But where am I today with that? Seven years later, I don't want to decorate. I don't want to put the stuff up. I don't want to take the stuff down. There's just so much going on every single day that that's just like something extra because who's going to clean it up or who's going to have to do all of that stuff? Um, when it's time to take it down and so that's where I am for Christmas this Christmas season um, as I said this is the season to be thankful and to give and so this Christmas season I'm so thankful for the seven plus years that we have been a nonprofit organization this Christmas I decided to not mail out gifts and things of that nature because we partner with different people and organizations that purchase gifts and bags and things of that nature. I decided that, you know what I'm going to do? Something that I absolutely cannot stand for people to do to me. And that surprise families as we um, went knocking on doors. And of course, we service Florida, you guys. So... We went to um, different counties, knocking on doors, driving hours away, and just surprising people with our holiday grants, as we would call them, just full of gifts and goodies and gift cards and things of that nature. And so for this season, I'm super excited to be able to have shared with those families who receive those blessings, but not just that, to see the smiles that it put on their face because they weren't expecting it. It came at a great time for them and they just were appreciative for all that we have done for them, not just this time, but since the day we've met. We try to keep reach um reach out to those families who are still actively battling or their child is in remission just to check on them and say, Hey, how you're doing? And so um we have been blessed to be um, a part of a lot of lives, a lot of kids looking at their pictures, meeting them in person, talking to the um, caregivers, the moms, the dads, or whoever it is. I'm just super excited this Christmas season that we are continuing to give love 365. Today, we were out and about and um, our first, my first initial um, perception of where we were, I'm not gonna go into detail, but the person who was the first, you say first impressions are always the ones that last forever. And the lady was definitely very rude, no customer service and all of that. And I just began to kind of like 
block it out and try to move forward. Of course, I addressed the issue once we got inside of the building, but it's, it just amazed me that as we went through the appointment where we were at, that she was the only grouchy person in the place. Everybody else was nice and friendly. Everybody else had customer servant, customer servants, you know, they, they, they went above and beyond to just talk and share about just their own personal lives as far as like, you know, what they're doing for Christmas or how they're doing during this time. And so I just immediately wanted to say, you know, maybe she's just having a bad day. And I get that because we all have bad days, but that's not to say that we should take it out on other people because we're having a bad day. You shouldn't take your problems out on other people. If today's just not that day for you, maybe you shouldn't be the first person that someone sees in the morning. Um, maybe you should not go to work or whatever it is. If you cannot suck it up in whatever your issue is, not take it out on people who are coming into an establishment. So again, where are you guys today, ladies, gentlemen, kids? If your kids have been homeschooled, as I would call it homeschool, if they've been doing virtual school, if they are back in school, if you are kind of leery because one minute they were home, now they're back in school, you're not too sure what you want to do, how are you feeling this season? I just want to motivate you to to this 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 one thing. No matter what it is in life, find the positive. If you look back over 2020, and if you've seen my lives, I've, I've been talking about 2020 is supposed to be where we see more clearly. And so with that, if you don't wear glasses like myself, I wear glasses. I don't like them, but I have to wear them to see and do what I need to do. But if you have not been seeing clearly this year for 2020. You probably are seeing clear. You just don't feel it. Because if you look back over your shoulders on where you've come this whole entire 2020, if you have not lost your mind, jumped off a cliff, um, did some crazy things that pulled your hair out or any of that since COVID-19 has had us on lockdown, then you have definitely made it this far. The 21st day of December, this close to a new year so Find the positive, even in a bad situation, even with Black Lives Matter, even with elections, even with thing, um, unemployment at an all-time high, even with um, you spent your stimulus check before it got to you, even with whatever, the, even with the loss of loved ones from COVID or just, just passing away naturally, tragically, whatever it is, you've made it to... December the 21st and yes we've had bumps and bruises and curves and road twists and turns and may have felt like a tornado or a hurricane or a tsunami for some of us but be thankful that you know what I'm still here in my right mind as I would know it and keep moving find people in your life that's going to help lift you up encourage you every day that's going to be positive and gonna and gonna share those nuggets um, of wisdom to help you find people who are destined for greatness. Even if it's I'm gonna get up today and be positive. That's a great move that a lot of people don't make that decision to take back your life. If you've had a rough year, if financially you have not been where you want to be, seek out people who can help you. Um, get to that next level where you need to be financially cut back on eating out and spending I know with COVID they were you know saying order out and all of this but if you're not financially stable to order out maybe you should go to the grocery store and meal prep and have those things already you know to to the side and things of that nature but where are you where are you at 2020 this this far to this you know this far in the year and this close to the new year we want your feedback. We want you to reach out and let us know how we can help you to be better for 2021. Yes, we deal with children and families who are affected by Cancer 365, but we absolutely love sharing those businesses and donors who support us 
each and every day, each and every month, each and every year, how often they support us. It doesn't matter. We love each and every person who has ever donated to our organization, time, our um, youth that come in through Career Source, our volunteers that have helped us, my team, my staff, anybody. If you see us, this is our very first Be Like shirt. So all of our vendors who create the magic for our Be Like gear, um, all of the vendors who have just created anything that had to do with anything that's had to do with um building us you know building our brand or building our gear so that we will be able to have things to support um us financially to give back to us to help raise funds not just with um not just with um our regular donations so it just gives you something that say you know you support us we have so many different things we have pins and shirts and hats and earrings and keychains and uh, i can't even name it they're on our website but there's so much stuff um going on <coughs> excuse me someone's emailing me but um i sent i have we have so much stuff on our website let me look at it actually while i'm here like I said, there's there's just so much stuff going on. <laughs> and for all of you who don't know, um, our website is BeLikeFoundation.org or um, Caleb's name, Caleb Solomon Williams Foundation.org. If you don't want to type all that in, or you don't have it, or you don't have it um, saved on your phone, your computer, or whatever, it's um, be like you can do be like foundation.org and it takes you it's the same Caleb Solomon Williams page I know somebody was saying I went to be like foundation and it took me to another um domain but it's the exact, exact same we have two two websites they both are connected just one takes you to the the um other site so you you we can buy out dot com dot org dot this dot that and we can all link them together to go to one site that just keeps someone else from purchasing that site that we have so i'm currently logging in on live not live on the be like store on our website so we have shirts we have bracelets we have earrings we have mugs we have hats we have women's shirts we have men's shirts we have kids shirts i absolutely love it's winter time we have hoodies we have keychains we have pins um what do you call it we have the the, the silicone wrist bracelets, we have all of that. We have the BLAC pouches, which have BLAC foundation on it, or the Childhood Cancer Gold Awareness Ribbon. We have soaps. So we have soaps with either the BLAC Foundation's logo on it and or the Awareness Ribbon, the gold one. We have, um, what do you call it, the thermal stretch, um, I call them um, little bags, and... I mean, just lots of nice stuff. We have about four, but we have a few different designs of shirts. So we have for those parents and or caregivers who've lost a child to cancer, they can get their child's first name only or one name only on the shirt. And so that just makes it super nice to have an in memory of shirt, especially if you do things in memory of but check our store out. We always have that. We do have some things in-house, uh, in stock already. And so if you go online, you can order it or you can email us directly and we will let you know what we have or if we have to order it out or, you know, to get more from the vendor. So if you go online, you can definitely see that. If you haven't taken a look at our website, it's amazing. I absolutely love the revision of it. We um just revamped it. Same information. If you don't know who we are and what we do, it gives you some background to that. It has all of our um ways to donate and pay. We have Cash App, PayPal. If you shop with Amazon, 
if we have the link if you click on it it will take you directly to selecting us as your charity of choice with amazon we have facebook link on here instagram if you want to become a sponsor that information is on there if you feel like your job or organization or um if you're a part of any any group or organization if you want to become a sponsor that's on there we have of course making making um making the donation is on there and we are a certified notary in florida so we can perform any of those notary services that you may need so that's something good to know but if you scroll around on our facebook page i mean on our website blackfoundation.org you'll see this information come up if you want to get in touch with us you just select the contact us and fill out the form send a message and it'll come directly to our email and we will get back with you as promptly as we can. We have a little information on here about our founder, Caleb. And so definitely was an amazing little boy. For those of you who do not know, I'm going to take my glasses off because I keep getting the computer glare and it's aggravating my eyes. But um, amazing little boy. If you see his smile, that was him most days. He definitely changed um, the lives of other people not just with his smiling but he loved to sing it's singing is in our background and in our lineage so he absolutely loved to sing he was praise and worship leader at his church on tuesdays at his school on tuesdays at their chapel and um, he just loved love love music and to sing he loved michael jackson I mean, I guess everybody loved Michael Jackson. As a kid, I loved Michael Jackson. I loved Michael Jackson back then, you know, like way back then when he was, a, you know, Jackson 5, Michael Jackson. So um, Caleb loved Michael Jackson and his music. And so if you look at our logo with him with his hand up, it's him. And we were at an event and he was dancing to Michael Jackson and he's like whatever the song was but um, when I saw that when we were creating the logo I said that's the picture I want to use that's um that's the picture of him I want to use because for me as his mom it symbolized I'm free um I'm, I'm not hurting anymore I don't have any more pain I'm free I'm simply free and as a mom who have children not just a child um, I'm thankful that he's free. I'm thankful that he's not hurting anymore, but half of my heart will always be gone. Half of my heart will always be, be missed or there'll be a place, a space that's gone that will never come back because he's not here any longer. And we are definitely moving to 2021. We have some great news a um, couple of little things that we're working on for 2021. So super excited. At first, I wasn't because it's been being spoke to do for a while now. And I've just been like, no. But now we are actually, we've already started moving forward with it. So can't wait to see it come together. From what I've seen so far, it's really coming together to be really um a blessing and I think it'll be a blessing to you all everyone who sees it everyone who um, gets involved in it so can't wait to um, launch some of the things that are happening for 2021 but take again just wanted to know how motivated are you this close to the new year how um, if you're not motivated what would cause you to be motivated to be better for the new year to be more positive to not be hard on yourself in a negative way but be hard on yourself in a positive way to bring about change for yourself in a healthy way i tell people all the time toxic is definitely not good for you in any stage of your life whether it's a friend whether it's a relative whether it's a relationship we have to learn how to cut toxic off from our lives just like with the seasons change winter spring summer fall leaves grow and then they die and then they come back we have to make sure that we're pruning our lives from toxic things toxic relationships um, toxic eating whatever it is toxic drinking toxic speaking just whatever it is that goes on we definitely have to refrain ourselves from those types of things that are going on
um, 365. So with that, I pray that you are having a motivated Monday. I pray that you have not just taken time out of your day for yourself each and every day, but I pray that you're giving back to um, those that are less fortunate than you. We spent last week and the weekend giving out holiday grants and doing things um, <laughs> for the weekend. Excuse me, I have emails and everything just popping up. Phones are ringing. Everything is happening right now. But we spent the week last week and the weekend giving back to those families in need. So um, even tomorrow, we have to get out and do some things for our seniors um, um, hold on. Um, so tomorrow we have to get out and do things for our seniors. One of them's birthday is the day after Christmas. And so we want to make sure we take care of them as we always do when we do, through, you know, make sure that we're taking care of them, that they'll have Christmas, that they have Christmas dinner. So we'll pick up food for them and deliver it to them. Make sure that they have the things that they need for the Christmas season and just um spend, spend some time with them before Christmas comes. Um, and I think that's about it. So, I mean, we're, we're striving to continue to be, the help that we need to be for our families who we service but we definitely want to make sure that we're not missing anything if you know a family that has been affected by childhood cancer please make sure you share our facebook and or our instagram with them we have a youtube that we um, upload all of these videos on which i'm trying to catch up because i have tons of videos that i have <laughs> to load on the youtube channel but make sure that you are partnering with us. Even tomorrow is our Giving Tuesday. You know, each and every Tuesday, we challenge you to donate a minimum of $7 to our cause. And if you can't do that, just make sure you share our Giving Tuesday challenge on your Facebook and social media pages. I tell people all the time, yes, we definitely need all the funds that we can acquire to continue to make um these these families to continue, excuse me, continue to help these families, how we help them financially. But how are you, you know, um, how are you aware of our organization or how are you aware of the needs of our organization if you are not aware of who we are? And so a lot of times when I do radio talks and different things, when I do interviews, they ask me, what is the most important thing about our organization? And for me as the president, it's awareness because if you are not aware of the BLAC Foundation, then how are you going to um, be able to share or provide financial assistance or educate people on childhood cancer? I'm stretching the shirt out because if you're looking at it, BLAC is simply my son's Caleb's name spelled backwards. And if you look from here, from I guess, I'm not even sure, it probably would be from your left to right. <laughs> BLAC is simply believe every life acquires a cure. Um, some people say BLAC, but it's BLAC, BLAC, um, Caleb spelled backwards. And so we believe that our children deserve better. And because there has not been medications to cure kids or keep them in a healthy state where they, where they can grow and live healthy, 365 for all children who, who who obtain cancer, we know that the big part of the story is this. Nobody talks about the financial need of rent and mortgages and car notes and car insurance and having more than one kid and needing food and toilet paper and paper towels and all of this different thing, all of the different things that we use, toothpaste, toothpaste. Nobody talks about those things that families need. And so that's where we come in and try to be an offset. I have to get out um, bills now. I have a couple bills uh -oh, here that I'm getting ready to mail off. One, two, three, four. Some over here. 
I have that we're getting ready to write checks out. Oh, I was about to say, I don't even see the checkbook, but we're getting ready to write checks to pay these bills for these clients. And so that can they can, um, the one less thing that they have to worry about while they're going back and forth to the hospitals, while they're going back and forth to treatments, clinics, or whatever they're doing, we um, are just amazed and super excited to be a blessing to, to, um, to the families that we service. So um, again, we pray that you're motivated. If you're not, connect with someone who will help you to be motivated. Um, and I think that you have to have a heart to want to be kind to other people. So once you're motivated to give, once you're motivated to look deep down in yourself and see um, so many grouchy people around, there's so many people who are not customer service oriented. And when I say that customer service Orient, oriented means this. I want to treat people how I want to be treated. So if you know anything about me, I'm a giver and I give at all costs. I want to love each and every day. I want to support others who support us back. I want to give to those seniors and those cancer families who cannot ever repay us for what we do for them. But their repayment is the smiles that we put on their faces our cancer kids, and then personally the seniors that I'm a blessing to. I want to be able to just, you know, somebody to say, you know what? She was thinking about me. It doesn't matter how small someone else may think the gift is, but the presence of me popping up at people's houses, especially my seniors, their eyes light up, the smiles come on their faces, and it absolutely is more rewarding than anything in this world could ever do. So I'm urging you today on this Motivated Monday to make sure you're doing everything in your power, every bone in your body, everything that you can possibly do for one to one, to be positive, two, to cut off toxic things and people, and three, to start being a giver to those in need around you and those who you know someone else might know who, who's in need. There's people struggling right, right in your face and they might have a smile that, you know, they put it behind them so they can help someone else get to the next level. But make sure when you're going out, make sure you smile and say, even today, if you're at work, if you work from home, make sure you're telling people, have a great day. Have you know if you're walking through some if you're at an office, have a good night. Make sure you leave a positive smile and a comment before you close out your day tonight. And so with that, I'm gonna close. I gotta get this stuff out so I can get them in the mail. But be motivated, be positive, be supportive, be giving, be loving. And if I don't talk to you, um, well, I can't say that because I'll be on live tomorrow, but. Definitely, if you don't catch us on live tomorrow, make sure you have the merriest of Christmas this side of heaven. And not because of the gifts that someone gives you, but because of the love that you give first, but then in return that you receive from others. Have a great day.